Some golfers play like gods on the course, but it only takes a crippling injury to show us that they are men like us. The biggest factor that can impact a golfer's career is an injury. From Tony Finau's horrific injury to a life-changing experience that made Tiger Woods miss out on the PGA Championship. Grab a seat as we reveal some of the horrific injuries that changed the careers of your favorite PGA stars. Please try not to wince in pain. A celebration gone wrong. Now this is one horrific injury you might have seen somewhere. Watching that ankle snap and get stuck in an unnatural position will send shivers down your spine. Here's what the golfer's ankle looked like as he competed at the major over the course of four. What follows next is even more scary, but brave. Finau was having a great time at the Masters. It was his first debut at Augusta National, and despite his abnormal shortened backswing, Tony kept up with the other players in the tournament until disaster struck. Tony had his entire family watching him play, and to their delight, he made an ace on the par 3 course at Augusta. It was a memorable moment, one every golfer would be proud of. So Tony took off in celebration, running down the slope with applause and praise from fans. What happened next was heart-wrenching. It disrupted what was supposed to be an epic debut at Augusta National. And it went wrong. Finau's left ankle buckled. He fell to the ground as he got up. As Finau ran backward, his ankle appeared to dislocate and get stuck slightly out of place. We don't know if it was a subluxation or dislocation, but Tony managed to snap the ankle back in place and limp off. That injury put Tony's continued appearance at the 2018 Masters in jeopardy. 24 hours later, after endless icing and a rushed MRI, Tony was back on the green. He couldn't put much weight on the injured foot, but an adjusted game plan with his coach helped him finish top 10 in the 2018 Masters. He tweeted about the injury, describing what a week it was. This injury will affect Tony for the rest of his career. While speaking with Golf.com, Tony said, It changed my footwork for a long time. I think even to this day I have some tendencies. Tony Finau was back on the golf course after some rehabilitation and treatment. However, our next golfer didn't have things so easy. His injury almost ended his life. The Mechanical Man The events that happened in the early hours of February 2, 1949, Groundhog Day, will haunt Ben Hogan for the rest of his life. However, his recovery would be perceived as the greatest comeback of all time by an individual. Some Tiger Woods fans might disagree with this notion. Stick around, you'll find out soon. Ben and his wife Valerie were driving from Fort Worth to Phoenix, where the pro golfer lost a playoff to Jimmy Demerit. They were about 37 miles west of Van Horn, Texas. The road was covered with ice and fog made visibility poor. Ben was only driving at 25 miles per hour just to be safe. He was beginning to cross a small bridge on Highway 80 when a 20,000-pound Greyhound bus traveling at about 50 miles per hour smashed head-on into the Cadillac. In reflex, Ben swerved to the right as much as he could and dove across the passenger seat to shield his wife from the impending impact. That action saved Ben's life. If Ben had remained in the driver's seat, he would have suffered a worse fate when the car's engine pushed into the steering column and crushed the driver's seat. His body across his wife's lap to save her life, mostly. Valerie was protected by Ben. Instead of being flung out of the car, she sustained only minor injuries. On the other hand, Ben suffered internal injuries, a head abrasion, a double fractured pelvis, a cracked rib, contusions to the leg, a broken collarbone, and a broken left ankle. The doctors were certain Ben would never walk or play golf again, if he survived. He spent almost 60 days in the hospital, with his condition worsening when a blood clot formed in his lungs. Ben was back on the golf course in May of the same year. He spoke to reporters about the collarbone injury, which he feared the most. However, Ben Hogan recovered well enough to serve as the U.S. Ryder Cup captain, winning a 7-5 victory. Due to his injuries, Ben Hogan thought he would never be able to play 18 holes again. Nevertheless, a few months after the incident, he defeated Lloyd Mangrum and George Fazio in an 18-hole playoff to win the U.S. Open at Marion. Hogan earned the nickname The Mechanical Man after his injury and went on to win six more majors before the close of his career. Just like Ben Hogan, the next golfer on our list is one of the best in the world. 
His injury has been speculated to be the result of how he plays, but this golfer says otherwise. The Scientist Bryson DeChambeau earned himself the nickname The Scientist due to his technical approach to golf. Since the beginning of 2022, Bryson DeChambeau has been hampered by an injury that has left him in no condition to play. Injuries began troubling DeChambeau after the first tournament in the season. The injury in his wrist caused him to miss the cut at the Farmers Insurance Open. DeChambeau's injury problems followed him to the Saudi Internationals, where he withdrew after the first round. The golfer explained that he slipped and fell while playing ping pong and suffered a fractured hemate bone and a torn labrum in his left hip. Got a little beat up when he was traveling over in Saudi Arabia and took a little fall and... Despite Bryson explaining the reason for his injury, fans have speculated that Bryson's injuries might have resulted from the speed and power he produces to hit the ball far. However, the pro golfer tried to assure fans about his injury after missing the Genesis Invitational. He made a post on Instagram debunking the rumors surrounding the injuries. After admitting to the injury again, Bryson stressed that his speed training wasn't the reason for his injuries. Bryson DeChambeau won the US Open thanks to his speed training. The skill looks cool when he does it. It is possible that the power and speed he produces when he swings his driver strains his body. Bryson tried to avoid it, but finally had to undergo surgery to repair the fractured hemate bone in his left hand. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think Bryson is using the fall to cover the real reason behind his injuries? Tell us what you think in the comments section. The next golfer on our list had his spark killed by a horrific injury he got off the course. Pulling a Ben Hogan Tiger Woods is, without a doubt, golf's greatest player of all time. Even at his age, his golfing prowess remains top-notch. However, his career almost ended when a brutal car crash left him with a horrific leg injury. The details of Woods' accident were grim. Woods was the driver behind the wheel of a Genesis SUV, which crossed two oncoming lanes, struck a curb, and uprooted a tree. When help arrived, Woods was still sitting in the battered SUV. The accident caused Woods to suffer significant orthopedic injuries to his right lower extremity. He had to be operated on to take care of open fractures that affected the upper and lower portions of his right leg's tibia and fibula bones. Woods was immediately stabilized, and he tweeted about the accident a day after it happened. The golfing world was very happy to have the legendary golfer alive and well. Players competing in the final round of the WGC Championship paid tribute to Woods by putting on his traditional Sunday red. Woods appreciated the gesture in another tweet, acknowledging how the gesture helped him through the rough time. Woods' injury affected his talus bone, a pivot point for movement. The talus bone connects the bottom portion of the lower leg to the foot. The damage to his leg was so bad that doctors were considering amputation. With this diagnosis, it seemed Woods' career was over. After the car accident, Woods appeared in some tournaments. However, his physical pain was obvious, and he had to withdraw his name from the PGA Championship. The GOAT even had to pull out of the US Open. The golfing world had no idea how extensive Woods' injuries were until he posed for pictures at an event without the black sleeve which usually covers his leg. Woods' scars looked horrific. Woods staged a comeback, winning the Masters just 14 months after the accident. Most fans have compared his comeback to Ben Hogan's comeback after his horrific car crash in the 40s. Which comeback was greater, Woods or Hogan? Be sure to tell us what you think in the comments section. The next golfer on our list is arguably greater than Tiger Woods, and he might have achieved more if he didn't have to battle with an injury for most of his career. The Injured Bear The Golden Bear is regarded as one of golf's greatest players, the best of his time. But very few people know that Jack Nicklaus suffered a hip injury for most of his career. Jack was diagnosed with osteoarthritis of the hip, a disease most Americans suffer from. The injury problems began in 1963 with Jack recalling that doctors tried treating it with cortisone injections, a treatment that Jack thinks destroyed the articular cartilage in the area. The injections helped Jack focus on his game, and he grew to become golf's golden bear. However, arthritic injuries don't just disappear. Jack began having problems again in 1988 and had to develop a routine to help him play through the pain. Jack's injury was so bad at the 1993 PGA Championship that he told his wife, I'm tired of playing on one leg. Jack managed to win the US Open, hoping he wouldn't have to undergo surgery, but he couldn't help it. Jack kept performing on the course, but struggled with his injury as he continued his life off course. 
Speaking about his experience, Jack said, It would wear me out to get up in the morning, shower and shave, or just wash my face, or get out of bed and eat breakfast. Later in 1999, the Golden Bear had to undergo artificial hip joint surgery. Jack's surgery improved his game and quality of life. After the surgery, he was pain-free. If you enjoyed this video about horrific injuries that crippled PGA golfers, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one too. See you there!